Hello there, this is a tutorial for the procedural dimension tools and this is the version 2. When you open the file this is what you see. So we have an extra dimension now which is the surface area calculator and when we jump in we can see how it works. So here are all the parameters. Uh, we can set it to measuring the surface area of the whole mesh but also to a vertex group. So if we go into the model itself, this is the vertex group that I made. So if we go in here, we say select. You see that we selected these vertices. If I select two more to select two phases and set assign, we see that it jumps to 19.67 square meters. So now it calculates correctly the surface area of this whole surface. Uh, we do have to set the object that we need for the surface area and then fill in the surface group name. As you can see here, vertex group area is what I call the uh, vertex group. And if we go into the parameters, you can see here vertex group area. So these need to be uh, the same for this one to work. And also, as you can see, if I remove the object, it jumps to zero. So you have to select the uh, right part, aluminium part, this one is called. And in the surface area annotation, we can set the name and also set the decimals just like the other ones, and we can set meter, centimeters, millimeters, foot, and inches. That's the same also with all the other dimensions. But for all the other dimensions, there's also a new feature which we can use, and that is the uh, dimension camera rotation. So for example, we have a camera here. If we go into this camera, we see all the dimensions, but they are not aligned to the camera. But now we can do this. So if we go into uh, the dimension rotation, if we ex extend this a little bit, here we see dimension camera rotation. If we toggle this, set it to one, you see that the dimension is pointing to the, towards the camera. And if we take, this is the pivot point of my camera. And when I rotate it, you see that it keeps pointing to the camera. And this is what we can do for all the dimensions. So if I toggle them for all of them, then we can see what will happen when I rotate the camera again. All of them will stay locked. Oh, only this one. We got to set it to one they will all lock to the camera. Also, the rotation is not automatic. So for these ones, we can set the rotation also to make them align with the dimension or maybe not and put them straight. And you can also make the text offset a little bit further so it stays readable. So make sure that you select the right camera for this to work. So if you don't select the camera, it will just go flat. So I only have one camera here. So if I just select camera, it works again. So uh, that are the new features for the dimensions tools, the dimension tools. And I hope this is really useful.